Hi everybody. I just wanted to record a video and say hello. Um, let you guys know what I've been up to the past um, week or so. Uh, school. Oh my god. So much school. I love it. You know, at first I was really, really, really nervous about it, I have to say, you know, and now it's like three weeks into it and now I feel a little bit better about it. Um, my birthday was a couple days ago on the 14th, so um, I'm older. Older, wow. Um, I'm okay with getting older actually, it's just uh, older. Hmm. I'm older. I am older. I'm five more years until 40. <laughs> when I put it that way, it's like, oh my God, whatever. So, um, <clears throat> I did my first editing project for school um, on Final Cut. It was so great because I don't know why or how, but I knew it. Like, I knew how to do it. All the teacher had to do was basically show a couple of basic things, basically show a couple of basic, all right, whatever. All the teacher had to do was show a couple of basic moves and I suddenly just like caught on. And even our teacher said, you know, it'll just, um, suddenly a light will go off in your head and you, you'll have an epiphany, you know, and it's like, oh, that's what it was. <sighs> so, um, I've been able to teach myself every editing program there is, just about, except for Final Cut. And now, now that I'm learning more about it, it's so fun. And I have this guy from my school, Aaron, he helped me. Um, we actually shot our first, I guess it's like our first produc production. I was the producer and there's um, a co-producer, a director, and uh, a video editor, which I was also the assistant video editor, <laughs> if you will. And um, then there were actors or talent. And it was really, really fun. And the team that I worked with, um, um, it was great. I had a wonderful time doing it. I know that's what I want to do. I want to um, direct music videos and uh, possibly, well, not possibly, and do documentaries for the most part. And um, maybe do a couple of, uh, uh, well, a couple lot, a lot of independent films, you know, the Sundance ones. But um, that's something in, like really far in the future right now. So um, it's just something to keep my mind on, to keep my dream alive so I can put forth a goal to achieve and work towards, if you will. And um, it makes me feel really good that I could actually do something I love to do. This passion for for the, the degree I'm going for is is so phenomenal. I've never felt like this. I've been to school for a few different things, including photography. However, um, there's something different about this one. This there's something different about it. I feel a lot a lot more different about it. If that's correct grammar, I'm in um, a class for English, you know. So I'm practicing proper grammar. I'm sure I'm probably messed everything up so far as composition. So uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I was and still smoking and still drinking my Starbucks. Uh, I love it. Um, I tried to curl my hair. I actually had it cut a little bit shorter because it was very long before. I thought it was a little bit too long, so I actually um I cut it myself and I just ring made ringlets in it just to see what it would look like and I actually kinda like it. I like I like the way it came out. Try new things for a, a new me, I guess. And um I think that's about it really. Uh I'm really excited about school, really excited. Uh, it's funny when, um, not funny haha, -ha, but you know, 
it's really nice I should say I like that word nice it's real nice when when I can look at my life and say wow you know I am completely happy with my life so I'm very very happy with my life right now so yay <laughs> and I do it without drugs and without drinking not that doing drugs and drinking are bad I mean I have a drink here and there I'm not an alcoholic or anything <laughs> I say that and it's like ooh is she an alcoholic but um yeah I just uh when I was younger I, you know, I smoked pot and you know did all the things that young kids did and uh I just can't seem to do that anymore I did try smoking pot like a year and a half. How did I get onto this drug subject? Whatever. I tried smoking pot like a year and a half ago. Ugh. I'll never do it again. I thought I was going to, like, die. Okay, anyways. Uh, I don't know why I just, like, brought that up. <laughs> I just feel real. I, I guess it's just, like, because I, I did, I have taken medication before um, for panic attacks and anxiety and everything. And um, I really cut back on that. And... I think what I really was trying to get to with the drug thing is that I didn't think I could actually be happy without taking drugs, you know, not the drugs like non-prescription drugs, but like um, an antidepressant or an anti-anxiety medication. So I'm just very, very happy, and it's hard for me to believe that, am I really happy? I mean, I'm sure I'll have my situational depression come up, but... I'm just really happy and again you know I say repetitively that it's hard for me to believe that I can be happy because I haven't felt like this for a long time I was stuck at a dead-end job I couldn't I liked my job I couldn't stand my boss um, and I was miserable there the people there I, I could care less about except for a few and I keep in touch with them so I was so miserable with my life I hated the relationship that was going on with certain people that I had um, a lot of love for and now it just seems within a couple of months time I think two months everything is different and I feel really wonderful and really great about myself and I know that I will become somebody in my life I don't care if I become famous or anything I'm not one of those people I just want to do something that I'm passionate about and this seems to be it and it feels really good so if you're stuck in a dead-end job here I'm gonna sound like a commercial if you're stuck in a dead-end job <laughs> um, change your life and for years, I just didn't change my life. I thought, well, hey, you know, I'm just this girl who's never going to go to college, and I'm just going to be whatever and stuck at this job and not be happy with it and go home and be miserable and wake up and go to work and come home and be miserable again. And I'm sure you guys noticed that. I lost a lot of weight from doing that. I just was so miserable. But now I just, um, I'm eating. I actually have food in my refrigerator. <laughs> Uh, I'm not anorexic or anything, but, you know, it's just when when someone is depressed, they just like, let me not just say someone. When I'm depressed, I really don't do anything, you know. I just hardly eat anything. I hardly go out. I just like, you know, keep myself as a hermit. However, now that I'm not depressed, it's such a, a wonderful thing. I go to the grocery store. I cook for myself. I clean. Well, not in the past week because I've had like a lot of classes. I take a class every day. <laughs> so, um, five classes total. So I'm just busy, busy. <laughs> I'm not used to being so busy because I had a mundane life before. A very repetitive, mundane life. It was like Groundhog Day waking up over and over again and the same job and the same situation, the same people, and nothing was changing. Nothing. And I was so miserable. I'm so happy now. I really miss you guys. Um, Nick, I miss you so much. I really, really miss you, Nick. You don't even know. I hope you get online soon. If you're online and you haven't contacted me, I will be very mad at you. 
but I'll still love you. <laughs> okay, shout out to Justin, even though I already talked to you today. Hello, Brittany baby. Yes, I can say that still. And um, I'll do another Miss Chinny sometime today. I don't know. Tonight, maybe I'm going out to dinner right now with some friends, so not wearing this. I'm just going to get dressed right now. Okay, I'm going to shut up now because I'm talking too much. All right, bye. And if no one has told you that they love you today, I do. And this time, I really mean it. Bye.